Hi guys, I'm Katie. And I'm Angela. And this is Scratch X. We are making clove bitters today. We are using a couple of different extracts to create our own homemade bitters for a cocktail that we'll be serving up to you on New Year's Eve. Let's get started. So the first thing we did is made an extract for each flavor we were putting in. The entirety of the bitter has to sit for a while. So if you have that one flavor sitting for a while, you can't really splice it up or change it as it develops. This way, if we do it individually, at the end, you're gonna be able to taste it and be able to gauge where you need to be flavor-wise. Now you're gonna want these to either sit for about a week or if you wanna make these for New Year's, which this is, spoiler alert, an ingredient yeah. for our New Year's Eve video on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make it for then, all you have to do is heat these up individually in a saucepan over the stove so it really um, speeds along the infusion. These two are aromatics and orange peel extract and clove extract and then we have burdock root going to give that bitter taste to it. Exactly and since specifically we wanted to make this for a very light cocktail we're going very light traditional dark bitters is going to be heavier on the bitter flavor so for each of these we are going to be using 100 proof vodka now your standard vodka is only going to come at 80 proof so you need to either look for a specified 100 proof vodka which they make most brands have their own version of it or you can use grain alcohol i think the main thing is we want to taste the extract and not the liquor, so unlike when we were doing vanilla extract, we used a bourbon, this one we want to stay clear. So for both the burdock and the cloves, we went with two tablespoons to four ounces of liquor. Um, the burdock is something that you're gonna be able to find either online like we did, or if there's a tea shop nearby um, that specializes in making your own blends of tea, they should have it as well. I've noticed also Chinatown burdock root is more of a like flavor profile and you might find the tea more easily if you have your local Chinatown. It's really woody. Reminds me a little bit of licorice root at the very back of yeah, it. Yeah, that's, I agree. Now for the orange, still used four ounces of vodka. First I took a vegetable peeler, mm -hmm. peeled off the outside of the orange peel. Then you get the inside white pulpy part and I peeled that off of the fruit and I put them in separately in here. And the reason I did separately was just so that we had a little bit more surface area so it could uh, be infused faster. I've heard that dried orange peel just works just as well, if not better. Once we have put these all in, these have sat for a few days, we are ready to mix them. So we're gonna start off with our base, which is gonna be our clove extract. You can always use a mason jar, an old like spice jar, or vanilla jar, whatever you find. We boiled ours just for a couple of minutes just to kill all the bacteria. We will need three tablespoons of clove extract. We want two tablespoons of burdock root. And last, we're gonna use two tablespoons of the orange peel. Then we wanna sweeten it up a little bit with um, about a tablespoon of honey. Now the honey we have is raw, so we had to microwave it, so it's um, it, it tends to solidify very quickly. So once that's all siphoned in there, so it's so messy, that's okay. We're gonna just shake it up, which is really nice about these containers also, because um, it helps kind of incorporate the ingredients a little bit quicker. These bottles hold about five ounces total. So if you're using something that's a little smaller, you might wanna just half our recipe. Bitters are kind of difficult because it's going to be bitter and not necessarily go for what you think would taste good. So a good way to kind of gauge where it is, is taste some bitters that you have at home already. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice. We're very excited to use these bitters in our New Year's cocktail on Saturday, so be sure to check that out. If you're interested in how to make bitters in general, if you have a specific type of bitters that you're after, please let us know and we'd love to make a video about it. Exactly, comment, like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see you next time, bye. Bye. We are making a clove bitter by hand. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we are making clove bitters. 
What? I'm sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> I said that right! I it. <laughs> okay, well, we're done. Let's get started. <laughs> you I don't know. sound more excited <laughs> than that. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> okay, alright, you said that right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. That'll get me excited. <laughs> we need to wrap this up. Alright, let's go. Alright. So. <laughs> Thank you. Wow.